Do you need a 3D mouse? Is a 3D mouse really worth it? Well, in this video, we're going to look at three different models of 3D mice, all by 3D connection. We're going to be looking at the Space Mouse Compact, the Space Mouse Pro, and the Space Mouse Enterprise. Now, the thing that I want to mention here, first of all, is that all three of these have one large similarity. You guessed it, it's the six degree of freedom puck in the center. So no matter which one you get, you're going to get that six degree of freedom uh, model rotator and translator. And uh, that's a thing that really matters here is the use of that puck to um, effectively rotate, translate, move around your model to be able to better constrain and measure it or to be able to um, constrain it in an assembly, apply joints, and etc. Now the Space Mouse Compact is the one that I use and I've been using it for a couple years now and um, I absolutely love it. I give it, I would say, 10 out of 10 rating. Um, the only minor problem with it is the fact that the base is not heavy enough to resist rotation on its own. When you rotate the puck, the base rotates as well. And the way that you have to fix that is with some either double-sided tape or some other sort of adhesive or 3D printing a base for it or uh, screwing it into place with a bracket, something like that. But other than that, I really don't have any complaints about it. And as you can see, um, it's a little bit hard to, to see, but there are two buttons, one on each side. See that? And those two buttons can be programmed to whatever you want. So I have my two buttons programmed for button number one measurement and button number two um, constraints. And if you're working in SolidWorks or you're working in Inventor, uh, that's really going to be a big help. Um, you can you can bring up your constraint window or you could bring up your measurement window all from the 3D mouse. You don't need to navigate to it with your uh, right hand regular mouse. And I think that the two button configuration really is enough um, for most people. Probably 80% of people are going to be okay with this model. The Space Mouse Compact, at the time of the creation of this video, uh, retails for about $100. They have a wireless version as well that may be a little bit um, of a different price, but it's just about $100. And I think that it's well worth it for, like I said, 80% of users. Now we're going to switch over to the next uh, mouse in the series, and we're going up by price. This is the Space Mouse Pro. It retails at the time of this video for $300. And as I scroll through the views here, uh, let's try to figure out what the differences are between this one and the basic. Well, as you can see, there are more buttons on this one. And this one has a, a rest for your wrist. Now, do I think that these are really necessary features? Uh, not really. Um, a savvy designer or engineer that buys a Space Mouse in the first place will likely be able to design and print a base for it. Basically saying buying the compact and printing a base for it. Now, the nice thing about the Space Mouse Pro is that it does have the additions of the buttons. Now, the thing about the buttons is that this one has four main buttons instead of just two. On the compact, you only have two of them. So, like I said before, button number one and button number two, at least my, uh, my preference, is to have uh, measurement and constraints. Now, if you're using the Space Mouse Pro, you can do, let's say, measurement for one, two constraints, three joints, and then four could be, say, extrusion. Or, or sketch. So all of a sudden you have your Space Mouse Pro is kind of like an entire control panel for your CAD system. Instead of needing to rely on keyboard shortcuts or relying on the UI of the software with your right hand mouse, 
it can all be easily controlled from your left hand Space Mouse Pro. Now, the other thing I'd like to point out here is that you have the escape button. The shift and control button are definitely also important and, and alt maybe as well, but the escape button is, is something that's used a lot um, in SolidWorks and in Inventor and in Fusion as well to escape out of a sketch or to escape out of a feature. So that having that escape button right there is, is definitely very useful. Now on the right hand side, you're gonna see um, some other features and programmable buttons. So you can really program these buttons however you want. The, the way that they're showing, they have one button for rotation, um, they have a, a couple other buttons, the F and the R, those are programmable. Um, you have the fit to page button on the bottom right. Now you can really change these to however you want. I'm, I'm almost certain you could change the escape and control alt and shift buttons as, to whatever you want as well. So really, you're paying another $200 for the convenience of not needing to 3D print a mount for your wrist and having a little bit more of a robust uh, space mouse, which is not going to rotate as easily when you, when you rotate the puck. Do I think it's worth another $200? I really um, don't think so. I think the only reason to get this mouse is if the company you're working for is willing to pay for it and they don't really care about the pennies, so to speak, between the $100 model and this $300 model. So there we go. I believe it comes with, and it comes with a case which I don't believe the compact comes with. Maybe they changed it, maybe it does now, but from my understanding, I don't believe that it comes with a case. Uh, so th this is a little bit more of a professional model and the name suggests that. So now we're gonna go to the third version. This is the $400 Space Mouse Enterprise. And um, you know, I'm, I'm almost laughing when I'm looking at it because it's, it's just so, um, <laughs> I don't. I really don't want to say overkill because um, I'm sure that a lot of people will get good use out of this, but it's really not necessary for almost everyone. The buttons that are programmable are really effective for people that are using CAD for seven, eight hours a day. Um, it, this can definitely save a little bit of time for sure especially when you start getting good at choosing your feature based on the number. So you know by heart that one is extrusion, two is revolve, three is a sweep, four is a loft, you know, five is shell, uh, six is a sketch feature, however you program it. And you can actually, with the screen that you see here, you can actually program which uh, features you wanna have in, in which spot. So there's a pane on the left side for six and a pane on the right side for six as well. Um, now, just like in the pro model, the left side has that sort of keyboard type uh, button layout, escape, tab, control, that's very important. Uh, it's also nice that you have that enter button, um, which is not present on the pro. It's kind of a shame. Um, and you also have the delete on the right. And honestly, I think the enter and delete buttons are more important and better features than the screen. Because if you have the number buttons, the, the screen is really just in addition to that. But anyway, I'm just nitpicking here. Um, the enterprise model at $400, um, it, it, it really just has everything. And uh, like I said before, I really don't think that, that this is practical or useful for most people, but I think for someone that just wants a solid uh, space mouse with no need for 3D printed base, no need for for any other adhesives on the underside, no need for um, ever using the keyboard again, so to speak, um, I think would love the Space Mouse Enterprise. And I think what they did here with the Enterprise is they kind of want to try to remove the keyboard from the equation and they want people to be able to use their left hand for everything um, except for selection which is done by the right hand. 
Now, the main takeaway from this video is that all three of these models, just like I mentioned in the beginning, they all come with the same technology, the puck, the six degree of freedom um, movement puck for translation and rotation. And that's the most important part of this. Um, I think that the Space Mouse Compact is definitely the best value. I think the Space Mouse Pro is for $200, not worth it. I think the only models to be considered are either the Compact or the Enterprise. And if you're wondering whether or not you should get the Enterprise, it may not be worth it. I think that you can really just stick with the Compact. I think the I think the people that need the Enterprise are the ones that know they need it because they're they're doing a lot of different CAD work, maybe in two different or three different software packages together. They might be working in AutoCAD one day, SolidWorks another day. So they want to have the flexibility of using a programmable uh, system which can work in two different softwares. So that that's really the only time where I would suggest getting this. Um, all in all, I think that the space mice are very useful. And I think that for the price, um, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it, especially, like I said, for the $100 price point, really. You spend 100 bucks on this, you can't go wrong. It's gonna help you in your workflow a lot. Uh, the Six Degrees of Freedom is something you just have to see for yourself. Um, I'm sure that there are a lot of videos that show its capability and use, but it's absolutely a game changer. Being able to rotate and translate like that in like kind of with your left hand, not even needing to take your right hand off the mouse is like is just such a, a big help when you're working, especially in large assemblies or when you're doing a lot of mating and constraining. Um, I hope you got a lot of value out of this video and like and subscribe for more um, engineering content. Thank you.